guys welcome back to a brand new video so i'm just around mums we are going to pop to tk maxx and home sense in a bit so we'll take you with us but whilst i'm at mums i just wanted to show you a couple of little updates we have done a little bit more to her dining nook and i just wanted to show you a couple of bits that i got her for mother's day that we've styled so i'm going to show you that now then we'll take you shopping with us and then i'll come back and do a haul if we buy anything so let me flip you around so you guys would have seen mum's dining nook in the last video so we did show you the mirror and the finished paneling and also the rug um, but we have just put this tree here and I did a little hack that mum thought was genius that she hadn't even thought of doing. So this is an artificial plant. It did used to be mine, but I just felt that it was too big for my flat. But mum just had the plastic pot that it came in inside this pot here. But where it was so much smaller, it obviously just made it look fake. So we've just stolen some stones from her garden and we put an old towel in there first so that you only have to do stones on the top layer. So put a towel in there and then just some stones on the top. And it just makes it look so much more realistic and it just adds a bit more greenery to this area. We do still need to touch up some of the white paint guys, so ignore that. Um, but then for Mother's Day, I bought mum a throw and a cushion and a feather inner to go in this little area when the benches and the table come so the table and benches are due to come in in the next couple of days so we will show you that obviously as soon as it arrives but we just want to drape a nice throw over one of the wooden benches and have a nice cushion in the corner so that's sort of where we're at with that it might even be um in this video that we get the benches and the table if not we'll show you it in the next video and then i did buy mum a couple of little ornaments for mother's day so i'll show you those now in another area of the kitchen so i bought mum these two little ceramic bunnies from home sense and i think i actually left the prices on the bottom which is quite handy so they were 4.99 each um one is sage and one is like an off-white colour and I just thought they would look so cute for spring. Mum's just put some tulips in a vase there so we thought that looked really, really nice. And then one of our lovely subscribers, and I will put the comment on the screen now, recommended this spray and leave for Mum's patio slabs and decking. So... You would have seen in our last video that we were doing a bit of jet washing and then the jet wash decided to break. Um, but apparently this is really good. So thank you so much for your recommendation. And we are going to give it a go, but it does say to wait until it's not raining to use it. So it's been pouring down with rain today. So we ideally did want to do it today, but I'm glad we didn't because it was sunny this morning and then it poured down with rain. So we will show you when we do eventually use this and show you the sort of before and after. It says it takes two weeks to sort of see any kind of results. Um, and if it doesn't all come off within the two weeks, it says to do it again. And then mum just bought this that she said was really nice, actually. So I thought I would show it. Was it from Lidl, mum? Uh -huh, yeah. Lidl. Yeah. So she bought this candle from Lidl. Oh, it's patchouli. No wonder you like it. So mum absolutely loves the smell of patchouli. Sid and I can't stand it. We don't like the smell of patchouli. But this does actually smell really, really nice. Can you remember how much it was? about 3.49 3.49 and mum really really likes that so Lidl can be really good for candles and stuff they often do dupe so mum really rates that so we're now off to TK Maxx and then Home Sense. so we will take you with us and then we'll do a little haul when we get back so we'll see you in a bit
guys, so we're back from TK Maxx and HomeSense. We had a really successful shopping trip. We found a couple of real bargains, um, a couple of bits that mum's over the moon with, and I also fell in love with something as well that I just had to get. No idea where I'm gonna put it yet, but I loved it so much, I just had to buy it. Right, so let's start with TK Maxx. Um, what shall we start with? Let's get these boots out of the way first because these aren't really home decor, but mum absolutely loved these boots. So cowboy style boots are really in fashion at the minute and mum just fell in love with these. They were the only pair and these were 24 99 The RRP is £50 on these, so real bargain. Mum sort of really liked the wooden chunky heel and the tassels. And what she liked about these is that you could probably wear these in summer as well with jeans and sort of a nice top. Whereas a lot of boots these days are sort of very wintry. So she really, really loved these. So they were a good find. And then we also got these two taper candle holders. I was just going to say, I bet they're the Made in India range, which they are. I love anything in the Made in India range in TK Maxx and HomeSense. It's always my favourite. So these were 4 99 I would have loved, ideally, to have had two different sizes. And it does show on the picture here that they do have a whole range of different sizes in these, but we only saw these ones. Um, but what I would probably do is put one up on a book and one lower down um, so that you've got two different heights or maybe just have one on its own styled. So we're not actually sure if mum's going to have these or me, but we just love them. So we put them in the basket. So really, really love those. And then from TK Maxx, this was probably our favourite, favourite bargain. Now, if you've watched some of our recent videos where we popped into the White Company, their vases in there were between like 70 and 100 pounds. Now we found two vases in TK Maxx that we just could not believe the prices on. So one of them had a price on and the other didn't. So this smaller one here that's still really big, this was 7 99 and this honestly would be so, so much more. I was expecting this to be at least 20 pounds if not more um so we just couldn't believe the price on that we might sort of make this a bit more neutral with an off-white color and do a bit of an upcycle on it mum does like how they are now um, the only annoying thing is literally as soon as you touch it you just get covered in this sort of dust i think because they're made out of clay um but yeah we just really really loved these so that one had a price on and then the bigger one if i try and leave that one there so you can see the difference in size will it stay move the remote there we go so this big one that's absolutely huge that matches it didn't have a price now we went to the till and said look it's the only one how much is it the guy sort of said oh let me go off and have a look came back down and he said is 10 pounds okay and we were like yeah that's fine um so we could not believe that this was only a tenner it just i just can't believe it it would be probably up to 100 pounds in some of the high-end shops um and yeah we we don't know what to do what would you guys do would you sort of paint it an off-white color and make it look a bit rusticy i've even seen some people use mud so they've like painted it an off-white colour and then like rubbed in a bit of dirt to kind of make it look a bit more rustic. We do love them how they are now. I just think they would go with the decor a lot more if they sort of match the colour scheme. But let us know what you think. We did also see these in um, HomeSense as well when we went to HomeSense. So if you've not got a TK Maxx near you, you would be able to find these in HomeSense and they did have some different shapes and sizes in HomeSense whereas these were the only two in TK Maxx. So we love those. We're thinking this one's going to go on the table, um, Mum's sort of little dining nook table. We're thinking that that one's going to go on there and then the big one maybe on her hallway console table that we haven't shown you yet because we haven't bought anything to style that yet. So we did kind of think that we've got a place for both of them to go but we just couldn't leave them there and now i'm absolutely covered in dust 
Um, so I think that was it for TK Maxx. So on to Home Center. Let's get a couple of the more boring bits out of the way. So mum picked up this hand wash and body lotion set and it comes in a nice little metal sort of um, container or stand. Um, this is the Peck Sniffs England range and it's in the grapefruit and citron. Um, and that was, how much was that? 5.99 I think. Um, so she just liked the fact that it had the black tops and the black little case or stand for them so she bought those and she really loves like me sort of citrusy smells she bought that for the bathroom and then she also bought a massive citrus body wash now this just smells so so nice Let's give it a smell it's just really really fresh and lemony and this was 7.99 how many mils is it 1200 milliliter so 1.2 kg so that is a big old shower gel and mum she wouldn't normally spend eight pound on a shower gel but when you think how big this is this is gonna last for ages so i said to her it is worth the money and what i tend to do with these big ones when i get sort of halfway or sort of two thirds of the way down i add a little bit of water to it and it just makes it last so much longer because I find that I do just use a lot more than I need to so you can always water it down a bit as you get closer to the end just to make it last a little bit longer and then I bought this beautiful little Easter wreath I just could not resist this um, it was 16.99 which I thought was quite expensive for the size of it as you can see it's only a mini one but the colours and the quality I just thought were absolutely stunning. So you've got these white speckled eggs, the gold eggs, you've got the sort of like jute material leaves, the eucalyptus, which I love. So I absolutely love that. And I'm not actually sure if I'm going to put this on my front door or if I'm going to use it on one of the shelves because where I live in a flat, I feel like it's a bit wasted on my front door. Not many people see it or notice it. So I might use it on one of my kitchen shelves. We'll see. So yeah, absolutely love that. Also a little bit of Easter decor. So I have got on one of my kitchen shelves, this really cute little sort of wicker basket. And I said to mum earlier before we left, that I want to buy some little eggs to go in it for Easter. We couldn't find any in TK Maxx. Then we went into HomeSense and we saw the gold and pink ones, but they were sort of like the really cheap plasticky looking ones. They were really nice, um, but I just didn't know if it was my kind of style. Um, I wanted some that looked a little bit more upmarket, so like rustic or ceramic. I couldn't find any and then literally just before i was about to pay for the pink ones i saw these and i said to mum oh no i don't know what to do because these were double the price but they just do look a lot more expensive so these are white ceramic eggs you get six and they've just got a really cute sort of bunny design on them and i just think they look a little bit like designer um, so these were 9 99 for the six, whereas the pink ones were, I think, 4 99 um, But mum did say these aren't anywhere near as tacky as the pink ones, so she convinced me to go for these, and I'm really pleased that I did. So, yeah, absolutely love those. And then I've saved the best till last because... I don't even know where I'm going to put this and I'm thinking maybe my bedroom. I do want to do a bit of a bedroom makeover soon but I haven't really decided what I want to do yet. But I do want to do a bit of a statement wall maybe with some panelling um, and this picture or painting I said to mum I don't know what it is about it. Well I do, I do know what I love about it but I just had to buy it and I don't know where I'm going to put it but I loved it so so much. So this was the only one they had it was 24.99 and the colors and everything it just goes so well with my decor 
and I just thought it looked so, so expensive. So it's got this really nice wooden sort of black um, frame and then it's got linen and then a brass edge and the actual painting or whatever it is, is on um, canvas material. And I just thought that it's absolutely stunning. The colours, the textures, I just loved it so, so much. And I'm thinking maybe for my bedroom because I feel like with the water and the ship, it's quite calming. I think it would be perfect for the bathroom, but I do love the sort of um, painting in the frame that I've got of pads though, while we got engaged. So I don't really want to swap that out. So I'm thinking to put this in my bedroom and maybe just carry on. And I have got a lot of black and gold and these sort of neutral colors in my bedroom. So I think it will be absolutely perfect. But I just can't believe this was home sense. I said to mum, I can imagine an interior designer picking up something like this. And they did have loads and loads of nice vintage -y paintings in the sort of really traditional vintage frames in there as well. Um, so definitely go and have a look in Home Sense and TK Maxx if you're after some artwork or paintings because they really, really do have some good stuff. So this was definitely my favourite find of the day, probably with the two vases that we got from Mum. So that, I think, is it for the haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favourite item was. And also what you would do with those vases, whether or not you think we should make them sort of a bit more neutral, rustic looking, or if we should leave them the sort of terracotta colour that they are now. Three days later. Hi guys, so we have decided to give these a bit of a makeover. We were sort of umming and ahhing because they do look quite nice as they are. The only thing we did think was that this sort of terracotta kind of clay colour um, we think does look a bit more like it's for the garden. We do really like them. They just don't really blend with the rest of the decor. So I am not planning on completely finishing these today, but I've just had a look in my cupboard to see what I've got. And this garden paint that we use in my bathroom to sort of waterproof um, the MDF and stuff in there and where the tiles used to be, it's a chalk finish and it's for stone, concrete, plaster um, and that kind of thing. So I think that will kind of do as a base for these. Um, I'm going to mix in some bicarb and then I've also got like an off-white beigey sample that I found in the cupboard. So I think I might use a bit of that as well. So I can't film it um, sort of doing it because I've left the tripod at mum's. But I just wanted to show you a bit of a before and then I will update you once I've done a bit more. So I'm just mixing loads of bicarb into the paint to start with. You do want it to be quite um textured with this sort of thing i mean it will give a lot of texture anyway just because of what the surface is like as it is um so i'm just mixing some bicarb in with the paint getting it everywhere as usual um and then i'm going to use a sponge to just apply it all over as one sort of base coat so i think that should be enough because like i said it is already textured so let's give this a go So guys, here is one of them with one coat of the white paint and bicarb. It's looking really, really good. So I'm just going to do a coat on the other one and then I'm going to go in with a bit of colour. Well, not colour, but a, a neutral colour just to give it a little bit of dimension. Similar, excuse my hands, similar to my vase here where you've sort of got the two different tones. So I thought this was good as a base colour. Oh, hello, Jet Jet. Don't touch it. It's wet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait for them to dry and then go in with another colour. So what I'm doing now, I had this sample pot of this sort of really light neutral colour. It's not quite dark enough for what I did want, but you can probably see I've just done a little bit on this one. So all I'm doing is literally just very lightly brushing it over, sort of all over, but leaving some gaps because you still want the white poking through. 
Um, so I'm going to do that all the way around, probably on both. And then if I feel like I need to go in with a tiny bit darker, then I will. Or I could just add a tiny bit of like a, I think I might have a grey paint or something in the cupboard. Just something a little bit darker, just to darken this up a tiny bit. So I will keep you posted. I just wanted to quickly show you the difference. So as you can see, I've gone in with the other colour on the smaller one there. And I've just sort of brushed around all the way around. Slightly like more concentrated in some areas than others. Um, so yeah, the big one obviously hasn't had any on it yet. But I'm not sure whether to just go in with a tiny bit of a darker colour. Um, I'm going to do the other one and then see what I think. Right, so this is what they both look like with the white and the off neutral colour. I still feel like there's just not quite enough contrast. So what I've done, I had this chalk finish grey furniture paint in my cupboard. I've just added a tiny bit into the sort of creamy colour. Um, I don't want it to be grey, I don't want it to be too dark, but I thought it would just darken. So that's the second colour that I went in with. Um, so I've just added a bit in to that and I might just very, very lightly just go over a couple of little bits with like a dry paintbrush. So I'm going to give that a go and if all fails, I can always go over it again with one of the other colours. So we will see how we get on. So another little update and I think I found a little hack that is working perfectly. I was scared to go in with too much of the dark colour so what I've done is I have put some of the grey on my paintbrush then really sort of patted it off so it's sort of there's not much on there at all and then I very very lightly with the side of the brush sort of gone like that and what's happened is it's literally just caught the very end of like the raised bit, the textured bit. So it's not sort of caused block colours, but it's just sort of catching the raised bit, which is just working absolutely perfectly. Um, because I think doing this sort of thing, you really... Oh, see, I've done too much now because I'm looking in the camera. Um, but you... You really don't want to have a complete flat colour because that's when it will look cheap and it will just look like you've picked up a vase, done the old bicarb trick that sort of everybody's doing. But having three colours, so the off-white, then the neutral, and then just very lightly brushing over the raised bits with a slightly darker colour again, you can really see the difference between that one and that one that's just had the two colours um so yeah i absolutely love how it's turning out so i will give you another update in a bit so this is the finished result i am so so happy with them i kind of used a couple of photos from the white company vases as inspo it definitely definitely looks so much better by adding a bit of a darker color just really subtly um but it just looks so much better than having a flat um a flat color so i think i'm going to leave it there and let them dry i facetimed mum and she's really really happy with them so i think tomorrow we're going to pop out and see if we can get some stems for the big one and the big one is going to go in the hallway on her sort of console table and this smaller one here is going on her dining table when it comes but she did say she'd quite like to have fresh flowers on that table so we're just looking for stems for the big one so yeah we will keep you posted guys and show you them styled Hi guys, so before I end this video, I just need to show you mum's finished dining nook area in her kitchen. We are beyond happy with it. It looks so, so good. We can't believe that this corner just had a fridge there before. Such a wasted space. So before I spin you round, I do just want to remind you what it looked like before. I know if you've been following us for a little while, you would have seen this a couple of times, but it's just nice to see a before clip before the finished result. So I'll show you that now and then I'll spin you round and show you it finished.
so this is the final result guys we love it so much because when you i'm standing in the hallway now so when you come into the house this is the first thing that you see and it just looks so cute and stylish so the benches we actually had made to go here and here but we didn't take into account that you wouldn't be able to tuck your legs under the table from this bench on the end there so we've swapped it round and put one bench either side and it does look really nice we were worried that it would look too crowded and cluttered having a bench here as you walk in but it doesn't it's absolutely fine so then the um throw there i got from amazon and i can link that below same with the cushion cover it's just a plain sort of linen effect cushion cover we then popped to the range yesterday mum and i and we bought a table runner that we've just sort of folded in half and these magnolia stems oh my god i absolutely love them these were 349 a stem from the range and i'm going to go back and get them for myself because i just think they look so expensive the fact that the stems are brown and you've got all the buds that the brown and green tones we love them so much so mum's got six stems in here so that was sort of just over 20 quid for six stems, but they just look so, so nice. Perfect for spring and summer. It's a bit different to having the eucalyptus or roses, things like that, that everybody else has. So we absolutely love that. And obviously you've seen the paneling and the tree and the mirror. The mirror was from the range, like we said. I think the tree was from Amazon a few years ago. Um, but it just looks so nice and mum wanted it to be really sort of country rustic so if I spin you around this way as well so the benches and table were from a guy on Etsy his name's Pete and he makes custom made benches tables he makes shelves um, I think he makes sort of shoe rack kind of benches but he can make them to size so we actually sort of designed this table ourselves with Pete so his tables that he's already got listed on there have sort of legs like that and then they have feet across the bottom like that and we weren't too keen on the feet so i did say to him is there any chance we could have like full width legs so we didn't have to have the feet on the bottom and i'm so glad we did because it just looks so so nice it it was a bit extra to have the extra wood obviously doing it this way um but pete has very kindly given us a discount code for you guys so i'll put that in the description below with a link to his etsy shop so go and check him out because he was so reasonable i think the two benches and the table came in at just over 300 pounds which for a custom made table and chairs or table and benches is just such a good price um so i'd highly highly recommend and i'm off to the range soon to go and get these flowers because i absolutely love them so let us know what you think obviously the vases um the vase that i sort of upcycled for mum that we bought from tk max um so yeah so we will see you guys in the next video sorry that sid wasn't in this video this week um it wasn't really planned that she wouldn't be in the video but i have every other friday off work so i work longer hours and have every other friday off so i do tend to come around mums a little bit more than sid does and we just thought it was silly not to film so you will see sid in the next video so we hope you guys all have a really good week and we can't wait to see you in the next one.